हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एफ फाइव लोड बैलेंसर सीरीज गाइज दिस इज डे टू ऑफ एफ फाइव लोड बैलेंसर सीरीज इन डे वन वी हैव डिस्कस बेसिक थिंग्स व्हाई वी कम अप विथ एफ फाइव लोड बैलेंसर राइट सो हियर यू कैन सी आई हैव थ्री सर्वर सर्वर वन सर्वर टू एंड सर्वर थ्री सपोज आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ दिस सर्वर इज टेन डॉट वन आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ दिस सर्वर इज टेन डॉट टू टेन डॉट टू मीस टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू टेन डॉट वन मीस टेन डॉट जीरो जीरो डॉट वन हियर आई पी एड्रेस इज सपोज टेन डॉट थ्री ऑन दिस सर्वर आई एम रनिंग सर्विसेस लाइक एट्टी मीन्स एच टी टी पी सो यू नो कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ नोड एंड सर्विस इज नथिंग बट पुल मैनेजर पुल मैनेजर इन लास्ट वीडियो बाई मिस्टेकन आई सेड पोल मैनेजर राइट बट इट इज पुल मैनेजर okay pool manager means node plus the services which you are running on the server so suppose if this user wants to access what 80 port number 80 service right so first of all the server will hit send request to f5 load balancer and on f5 load balancer we will configure a virtual server then one virtual ip address right on that virtual ip address outside user will send request and f5 load balancer will have knowledge about the server so where as port number 80 is working and f5 load balancer will relay the request to this server yes or no suppose here i am running also 80 service here also i am running 80 service right so these node and node means ip address and service this is what this is nothing but the pole manager pole manager and f5 load balancer will have knowledge of all pole manager of all servers right so this is how we f5 load balancer will relay the request of outside user we have discussed these things in previous class so today in this video we are going to understand some key feature of f5 load balancer guys okay, this video is going to be very helpful for the people who is working on f5 load balancer and if you want want to learn this technology f5 load balancer okay today in this video we will understand why f5 load balancer is most popular in the market okay so without wasting our time let's begin guys first thing about f5 load balancer is it is a layer 3 device it is a layer 3 device that means like a router router is also layer 3 device but f5 load balancer have some wider feature right layer 3 device f5 is a layer 3 so whatever traffic f5 load balancer will generate it will generate at which layer at network layer at layer 3 okay now let me talk about the feature so guys first feature that f5 load balancer is providing it can analyze it can analyze analyze application layer traffic application layer traffic what do you mean by it it mean suppose i have a some server in my network right server 1 server 2 and server 3 okay s1 s2 and s3 here ip address is again 10.1 here ip address is 10.2 here ip address is 10.3 suppose on this server i am running service 80 here i am running service uh, 443 and let's say this is my ftp server port number 21 i will connect these all server together through one switch yes or no and after that we will connect this switch with f5 load balancer and f5 load balancer is suppose connected with cloud internet let's say isp internet service provider and here are the outside user okay so f5 load balancer can analyze the application layer traffic this is the biggest advantage of f5 load balancer means if suppose this user wants to access http page so it will send one request on the virtual ip address right request will hit on f5 load balancer and f5 load balancer can analyze application layer traffic that means f5 load balancer can identify that someone is trying to access port number 80 so f5 load balancer will relay that request to this server suppose if this user wants to access 443 it will send request to f5 load balancer and load f5 load balancer will have information of this server that on which server i am running 443 service so it can relay the service to this server that means f5 load balancer can analyze application layer traffic 
ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट की फीचर ऑफ एफ फाइव लोड बैलेंसर सपोज सम यूजर फ्रॉम आउट साइड वॉन्स टू एक्सेस माई एफ टी पी सर्वर राइट सो एफ फाइव लोड बैलेंसर कैन एनालाइज एप्लीकेशन लेयर ट्रैफिक दैट सम वन इज ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस एफ टी पी सर्वर राइट सो इट विल रिले द रिक्वेस्ट टू दिस सर्वर ये सर नो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फीचर ऑफ एफ फाइव लोड बैलेंसर दैट इट कैन एनालाइज एप्लीकेशन लेयर ट्रैफिक and we can load balance on the server suppose on two server i am running app port number 80 okay so what load balancer can do load balancer can perform load balancing whenever someone will try to access port number 80 right we have two server where i am running this service so app 5 load balancer can perform load balancing between these two server if someone will request if someone will send request for port number 80 if there is only one server where i am running 443 service so f5 load balancer will always relay the request to this server if someone will send request for 443 if we have only single server for 21 port number so f5 load balancer will send all request of ftp to this server yes or no that means f5 load balancer can identify can analyze the application layer traffic okay next thing next feature of f5 load balancer is let me mention over here point number 2 it can you know it can intercept and indirect the incoming traffic what do you mean by it let me write over here first intercept it can f5 load balancer can intercept and redirect the traffic direct the traffic means suppose this is my again let me draw one diagram we have a server like suppose this is my http server okay and this is suppose youtube server okay youtube here domain name is suppose pm dot pm net dot in dot com let's say pm www dot pm net dot com is my domain name of this server and this is my youtube server fine so let me connect these two server through one switch and this switch is connected with f5 load balancer okay here is cloud and here is outside user okay so what i want that whenever someone will send request to http serv server my f5 load balancer should redirect the traffic to youtube youtube server that means when someone will type www.pmnet.com right in the browser then f5 load balancer will redirect that request to youtube.com or to my another server right suppose this is my ftp server here i am running port number 21 what i want that whenever someone will hit on this server i want to redirect the traffic to ftp server we can achieve that with the help of f5 load balancer okay here we can configure it right like whenever someone will request for pm networking.com you should relay the request to youtube.com you should redirect the request to youtube.com so this is also the biggest advantage of f5 load balancer this is also uh, a key feature of f5 load balancer hope this two key feature is clear to you let me discuss the another key feature of f5 load balancer guys till now if you have any problem let me know in the comment right that uh, i have a problem with this 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 blah 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 right if you don't under if if you have any problem to understand these things right you can let me know in comment i will make another video okay now third 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 feature that f5 load balancer can provide you is let me write over here first third feature of f5 load balancer is authentication authentication like suppose if a user is sending a request with ssl certificate ssl certificate as you already know what do you mean by ssl certificate right like https uses ssl certificate right suppose here again i have one server http h 
https server okay here i have one more server okay both server are connected through f5 load balancer like this okay so here on this server you are configured ssl certificate so someone from outside will send one request with ssl certificate so this f5 load balancer will have knowledge will have knowledge that what ssl certificate you have configured on this server so f5 load balancer will match the ssl certificate if this this user is sending one http request with ssl certificate so f5 load balancer will match the ssl certificate which you are config configured here which you have configured on this server if ssl certificate will match then only f5 load balancer will relay the request to http server otherwise f5 load balancer will discard the request okay that means f5 load balancer will synchronize yes you can say synchronize or you can say it will have knowledge about the ssl certificate which is running on the server if someone is sending a request without ssl definitely it will allow you know why ssl certificate is required suppose here f5 load balancer is not going to identify the ssl certificate and whenever outside user will send request with ssl certificate directly f5 load balancer will relay to the server and this server have to check what ssl certificate the server have to match ssl certificate so if this server will receive lots of ssl certificate service maybe cpu utilization of this server can high and as you know cpu utilization will high that means performance will low right so this server can hang so that's why what i am saying you we can configure it here that you need to match ssl certificate so whenever someone from outside will send one request with ssl certificate f5 load balancer can match the ssl certificate with server and the certificate which is coming in the request okay now this is also a key feature of f5 load balancer let me discuss the another one right okay so now let me discuss fourth key feature of f5 load balancer let me write over here first so load balancing based on i rule load balancing f5 load balancer can perform load balancing balancing based on i rule you know what is i rule let me make you understand here what do you mean by i rule guy suppose again we have two server okay and these two server are connected with f5 load balancer here also i am running port 80 here also i am running port 80 what i want i want that from uh, suppose 12 to 12 am to 12 pm right f5 load balancer should relay the request whenever f5 load balancer will receive a request for 80 it should relay the request to this server right from 12 am to 12 pm okay or you can say let me say another time let's say from 10 to 5 right pm from 10 am to 5 pm f5 load balancer should send all requests to this server and from 6 pm to or from 5 pm to 10 am in the night it should send request to this server right so this is additional configuration so this is actually i rule right whatever additional configure configuration you will configure on load f5 load balancer that is nothing but i rule this is also a rule that from 10 am to 5 pm you you should send all request to this server and from 5 pm to 10 am you should send all request to this server right so this is nothing but i rule this is also a key feature of f5 load balancer this is the reason why f5 load balancer is popular in the market okay now let me discuss the fifth key feature and fifth key feature is compression and decompression right or you can say compression and optimization on the http traffic let's say this is point number five five fifth key feature let's say suppose our uh, this f5 load balancer is re is receiving a request receiving a data of suppose uh, this f5 load balancer is uh, receiving a request to download a movie from the server okay from the server 
okay here i have uploaded a file of suppose this request is of 1 gb okay so f5 load balancer is receiving a request of 1 gb so f5 load balancer can do what it can compress it compress this request into suppose 20 mb okay so these things also f5 load balancer can do compression and optimization and after that last one last key feature is it can provide you packet filtering right packet filtering means like packet filtering for network access control if you want to filter some traffic you can configure it over here on f5 load balancer okay guys so these are very basic things basic key feature of f5 load balancer and guys let me make you one one more thing over here you know what is ltm ltm stand for what ltm stand for local traffic manager right and uh, one more term are here that is nothing but elb enterprise load balancing price load balancing you know these two right ltm and elb provide what load balancing load balancing service between load balancing services between two or more server or you can say application like suppose on two server i am running port 80 that means it can perform load balancing right ltm and elb okay whenever a server bill goes down it can provide you uh, the you know active and standby like if my one server is down that means it will send all requests to the another server server which is up that means it will help you with failover right with failure whenever a server bill goes down it f5 load balancer will not send traffic to that server that means ltm will provide load balancing as well and it will provide you the failure service as well right and one more term is there that is nothing but that is nothing but gtm gtm stands for global traffic manager it will provide services between two or more sites L suppose we have two geographical area right we have two network in different location and if you want to perform load balancing between these two location right for this gtm is responsible global traffic manager okay so these are some you know key feature of l5 load balancer and that's that is the reason why f5 load balancer is most popular in the market now video length is around 14 minutes and i want to make a small a small video so that's why i'm not going to discuss anything else in this video we will meet soon in day three till then stay safe guys if you will have if you have any doubt please let me know in comment and if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button Bye bye guys, thanks for watching.